Welcome back to another edition of Curbing Herb Outdoors. We are out shed hunting again, and I just got across the river. We walked out here, got a couple islands, got another river bank to cross right there, get to the next island. But I was just waiting here. Kirby and Autumn are just crossing the river. I already found a shed. So let's walk up, get this thing picked up. I saw it. It's walking down this right here. Looked over and saw it right over here. It's an older one, I think, but oh yeah, it's chewed up little four point we are off to a hot start here hopefully keep it going and guess I got something to show off right when they get here already the ticks are about to be bad too yeah I'd say the sound's about to be good they just jumped up from right in front of me Got my first one of the day here. <clears throat> it's one of the better ones I've found all year. I've just been trying to find every like slope or ledge I can find where I think they'll be bedding down, and that seems like where I've had the best luck. So, got number one for the day. We're gonna keep going here. Try to get a few more. Well, been walking to a lot of deer, not a lot of animals. I think Kirby just found one. I might see one here that I'm walking up to. It might be a stick though at the same time. Wow, that's a stick. Nice. Well, boys, I just found a giant one, I think. Compared to what we've been finding, this is a big one. And Kirby just walked 30 yards from it. I mean, I got just a couple yards from it when I saw it. But we got ourselves a pretty nice one. We've been walking a while, hadn't found anything for a while. So finally. We got ourselves a good one. I'm curious if this happens to be something similar to the one Kirby picked up. Kirby's had this little kicker on the base. I mean, that's a pretty good one. Heavy, had a little bit of palmation there. Now the left side, as always. Don't know what it is with the left sides on this place, but there's a lot of them. Hopefully, we can find the other side to this. I'm gonna look pretty hard just right here because this is some thick grass. And with this being just a little old, it could be anywhere in this. Because this thing's pretty fair size and I could barely see it. Well, I'm gonna start gridding a little bit right here and catch up to you if I find it. The ice a little bit. I could care less how the rest of the night goes. This is the best thing I could have asked for. I'd been looking for this shed 
and another deer's all year out here. I mean, I put on so many miles. I knew it would happen too. I was telling myself I'm gonna find a shed turkey hunting after walking almost 20 miles out here this year and finding zero. It was laying on an exact trail that I walked just a few weeks ago, so he must have just dropped. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm excited for this one next year. This one feels so good to find. And I think I know where he's bedding based on where this is and where I always saw him come from. He's gonna be a stud next year. I passed on him two times this year within 15 yards. He was big this year. It took everything I had in me to let him go. Only reason I let him go is because this is the only side I can physically find. Because he was missing his other side. And his other side, I believe, is like a big palmated thing. I can't wait. I'm so excited now.